So I'm giving my two cents on what I've seen a lot of people call life hacks related to the automobile. Two of them. One of them is the alleged allegedly could do this to increase the range of your clicker. And another one is related to inside the vehicle. So I'm going to be using my car as a demonstration. I got my mom's remote as the base model and then I got mine which I've got this big metal key ring on that I want to test as well and after I'm done doing this test I want to explain to you why increasing the getting better range out of these and it ain't probably going to work in most parking lots okay so here's what I want to do my car beeps when I click on the remote. I'm going to basically have me in between the remote, go as far as I can until the car don't beep. And then I'm going to point the remote at the car like this to get the next additional range. And then when it doesn't beep, no matter what I do, and then I'm going to try to blow the chin. I'm going to go the full length of the house first. Then I know the remote will reach the car. And the property still received. I'm going to explain to you why this won't work in anywhere else. Still reaches. They can still reach. There it goes. Still so reaches now without me in the way. Uh, in case you want to know why the remote can reach so good, still beamed. Still, uh, if you look at the car from here, I got my I got the remote. Look at my hand. I got my remote up where it's basically reaching, transmitting over the obstructions now. We got a good beeper. There's very few obstructions in the way, by the way. <laughs> now, at this point, basically, no obstructions are motor ring. Nope, that's it. Nope, it still reaches. Nope, it still reaches. You can't even see the car anymore. You can still see the brake lights. Now, Try I want to tell you something. That's it. That's it. Don't work. It don't work. Now I'm going to try my room, mine with all this additional metal, see if I get a better signal. Yeah, it beeped. I'm going to explain to you why, why this works. You see, every car manufacturer, none of these. These aren't made equally, okay? They use different transmitters. My mom's smart car from quicker range was a joke, okay? And in fact, using these to find your car is not a valid life hack because not every car has these, okay? I use it to find that car. And another thing is the reason I got such good range is that there's very few obstructions between me and the car. In a parking lot full of cars and vans and SUVs and trucks, these would have to get through all that. No, this is not a life hack. Using this to find your car in a parking lot, especially Disney World, where you got Mickey, Pluto, Donald Duck, parking, parking lot, whole lots. No. We take a picture of the where we park our car. Explain to you the right way, a real life hack because everybody has one of these. Come on.
Okay, so here's a real way to find your car when you park your car. You got one of these. Even if it's got no service, you probably got one of these cell phones. A flip phone, whatever. And it's 10 to 1, it has a camera. Everybody has a camera now in their phone. Basically, just stand up. You take a photo that way to, to, the, actual, to the actual mall where you parked it, because I'm going to say the mall's over there. And then the signs on the outside of your mall or your store that you've gone to, well, you'll be able to see visually where you're at. And then you basically, you then take a photograph of another building relatively to where you're parked at. So then basically, you just got your, got your geograph, geographical direction that way. And that way, with your cell phone. And 10 to 1, a lot of malls are now adding little numbered rows to them. Yeah, signs at the end of the rows. Signs at the end of the rows, like 24, 15, 12. Like if you're at Disney World, you'll have a number plate in your parking spot, like 23. You go click, you got your number plate. Then you got your little Mickey Mouse or Donald, you click that, boom. You now know where your car is using your cell phone. And a lot of car, a lot of these ranges are really pathetic. Fut and future hint, future videos coming up. Next month, David's vacation, we're going to be there. And you're going to actually see David find, okay. show how we're going to park our car. Okay, that's how you find your car. You use your camera because a lot of these ranges, I've actually seen cars where the range is literally this. I'm in range with just the clicker. I'm now out of range. Some of these are that, uh, that bad. And a lot of, a lot of cars No, that, that is four houses down the street plus. A lot of cars are happening unobstructed. There's four houses down the street. Plus. I've been in a parking lot where I've had vans in there and this was it. There's that many obstructions. This was it. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Use this to find your car by use, using your camera. Next one up, I, next other life hack I've seen people claim, which I'm going to actually now correct you on. The little arrow right there on your fuel gauge, which points to where your fuel tank's on on your car. Yeah. I don't know if you see it, but that little arrow right there. Turn the key on. Then he can see it. You have the key. Yeah, I think you can see it. That little arrow which points to where your fuel tank, fuel or cap is at. That's not life hackable. That is the feature. That is the feature that some that few cars have right now. It's becoming more common. But I'd say chances are you probably ain't got that. Because almost every car before the year 2000 didn't have that. In fact, still there are cars made after that that don't have it. My mom's smart car didn't have it. Didn't have that little arrow. I went out and looked when I when I saw it on Watch Mojo. So crazy Russian hacker and WatchMojo.com calling that a life hack is not a life hack. All right, thank you for watching. That's my two cents on two life hacks that I knew were not life hacks because there is a wide variety of transmitters for this. Okay, and secondly, that arrow is not a life hack. That is a feature. Thank you for watching. As always, like, comment subscribe we do read them and whenever possible we do attempt to attempt to attempt to do them and as always thank you for viewing and links are in the description below and uh bye bye and have a good day